The year was 1998. As the 20th century neared its conclusion, the demand for Ironman racing far exceeded the supply. Today, there are six Ironman races in the continental United States alone. Ten years ago, there were none. The World Triathlon Corporation wanted the eastern U.S. as the location for a new race. And when Graham Frazier and members of N.A. Sports arrived in the village of Lake Placid, they knew this was where it should be. The infrastructure was here, but above all was the natural setting. It was as if the area had been designed specifically to host an Ironman. One meeting with community leaders escalated into many. The moment was in place and Ironman USA Lake Placid was quickly turning from a dream into a reality. And by the end of August 1998, it became official. The Ironman was coming to Lake Placid. Just 12 months later, on August 15, 1999, with the Adirondacks shrouded in heavy rain clouds, 1,461 triathletes from around the world stood on the shores of Mirror Lake. It was their time to turn the dream of doing an Ironman into a reality. The air was heavy with anticipation by both competitors and organizers. The crowd, the athletes, the setting, it was near perfection as the race was put into the hands of the starter. The Ironman had found a new home. The athletes swam the 2.4 mile course in Mirror Lake. They rode the 112 miles up and down the Adirondack Mountains and they ran the marathon all the while the sun was out in full force. That first year, Germany's Thomas Hellriegel would take the title for the men. Canada's Heather Feuer would be crowned the women's champion, her first of five Ford Ironman USA Lake Placid titles. They would be part of the 1,380 finishers to usher in the new era of Ironman racing in the United States. Over the years, the participants would continue to come. In just 10 years, Ford Ironman USA Lake Placid has become one of the most popular Ironman races in the entire world. This year's race selling out in just 15 minutes. They come for the incredible scenery. They come for the challenge that comes with being in the Adirondack Mountains. But above all, they come because of the volunteers. Right from the early days, the community, the volunteers, have been the soul of this race. More than 3,000 on, they actually outnumber the competitors. They are there when the athletes begin to arrive at 4 a.m. And they are there past midnight, the official cutoff time of Ford Ironman USA Lake Placid. On race day, there has been intense heat, humidity, wind, and even an occasional downpour, but nothing Mother Nature has thrown at the participants, the spectators, or the volunteers has dampened the incredible enthusiasm that is Ford Ironman USA Lake Placid. There have been the wacky. I was passing people on that downhill. Once I got going, the extra weight really helped me out. You only have a single seat? That's it. Transmission's all in the lake, I guess. There have been the inspiring. Those who would just barely make the cutoff. And those who gave everything in making the attempt. To those who dare to dream, congratulations on the 10th anniversary of Ford Ironman USA Lake Placid. 
The long journey to your Iron Man is here. A half of your 2008 Ford Iron Man USA Lake Placid title sponsor, Ford Drive One. Your presenting sponsor, Janice. Janice, discovering winning opportunities for our investors. Zorel, the official lifestyle brand of Iron Man. Zorel, performance wear for anywhere. Gatorade, is it in you? Power Bar, official energy bar and gel of Iron Man worldwide, including Ford Iron Man USA Lake Placid. Philadelphia Insurance, the official insurance company of Ford Iron Man USA Lake Placid. Northwoods is proud to be the official hotel of Ford Iron Man USA Lake Placid. For all your print news, check out the Adirondack Daily Enterprise Press before and after the race. On behalf of your entire team of Iron Man partners, may all your Iron Man dreams come true. Iron Man, anything is possible.